Merry Christmas, you two. We have Christmas week and a mail day for you today. Uh, I got a story, quick story. Three packages open, shouldn't take up a whole lot of time, but uh, it's early on Monday morning. Nikki has a meeting tonight after work, so I can't wait for today's packages. Dang, that coffee tastes good. First, let's talk about this little guy here. So in the thumbnail, I got this little snowman, and I wanted to put something in the background for Christmas, right? So I got these Christmas themed cards. I think I used a lot of these last year, um, but this guy here, I did kind of as a joke. I, I bought Nikki a necklace, or no, a bracelet, and I uh, didn't really have anything to wrap it with or anything like that. The box it came in wasn't that cool, so I made this thing and wrapped the bracelet around it. We've had this thing for five, six years. I haven't seen that bracelet in quite some time, so it's pretty funny that I... <laughs> this was the better present of the two, I guess. <laughs> she loves this thing, and... Uh, yeah, that's just a quick story. I do have another story about this weekend, but I'm going to wait for Nikki uh, to be present on Wednesday to tell you guys that one because she's a big part of it. So uh, let's get into it, though. I only have three things, and two of them are from Matt, who has sent something dang near every single week this month. Uh, he's also from Minnesota. Two separate packages. I think he did tell me why, and I just can't remember. But let's see what we got here. All right, so he sent something for Nikki here. Being that I only have a few things to open, I'll probably just open it here. Let's see what this one says. And then I'll let her open it again on Wednesday. If we remember. I cleaned up my card area, actually. I do want to ask you guys another question. Everyone poses this question to me and I just tell them the same thing. I put them in a box. <laughs> just tape the envelope. Uh, what do you guys do with all your base cards? I think I'm gonna take mine. I'm gonna take mine to the LCS this week. I have like two of those big shoe boxes that are card specific, full of tops baseball and all kinds of different football products. I did pull a lot of the quarterbacks and stuff out and uh, gave those labels in a different box. But what does this one say? It doesn't say anything. So I assume this one's for me. This frog tape's awesome. But, um, yeah, I, I have no use for them. They're just taking up space. I had piles and piles of stuff from Pack Wars and, you know, retail reviews, stuff like that. So I uh, ended up putting them all in a box, in a shoe box. They're still by product and stuff. And, and I was going to see if he had any interest in, you know, putting them in. It doesn't have to be team bundles. Like, I don't want him to have to. I know he has a lot of stuff going on already, but if you could just. Put them in an individual bag or uh, like just a handful of cards per bag or something. Give them to kids when they come to his shop or something. I think something like that would be cool. Otherwise, I'll probably just take them to Goodwill or something like that. But just curious, what do you guys do with them? They take up a lot of room. Obviously, when you open some of these products, they're mostly base cards. Uh, but okay, so we got some for our. This is exciting. We got some for our select set, which. We are making a lot of progress on, but we have a lot, a long way to go with these field levels. Okay, I do, uh, I do remember this one. We got Minka Fitzpatrick field level, a Jarrett Stidham field level. We had a James Conner number thirty-nine. I'm trying to, I, I get my sets mixed up sometimes, but in the uh, description box below, I have a a link to the set cards that Nikki and I are are in search of to complete our 2020 football sets we're doing optic prism select and uh let's see the other one mosaic and i have some of them have a strike through through them them though that is what people have told me they were sending i put a strike through through them just in case you know for whatever reason that package doesn't make it here or they change their mind or something i don't want to lose track of which cards I need. So the ones that are struck through are ones that are being sent. And then once they I receive them like these, I'll take them off of my list. But if you guys have a bunch of those products laying around, again, it goes back to what are you guys doing with all those base cards? I do save a lot of those just in case someone else is trying to complete their set and we help each other out. But, uh, oh, that's sick. That's really cool. She's not like that. Got to put that right back how, how you sent it. Nice dealing. You must not be a Vikings fan because you're giving up these Thielens. Oh, I'm just kidding. 
I was looking at Thielen autographs for a buddy who wanted to get uh, he wanted to get his little nephew. Uh, I think he was looking at Dalvin Cook autos, and there wasn't a ton out there. And I was just curious, you know, what else is out there? Looked at Thielen. His cards are insane. <laughs> People really want his autograph. But uh, he's a good player, so. All right, we'll save that for Nikki. I'll put that back in the baggie. Thank you so much, Matt. That was super kind to you. Appreciate the help, as always, with the, these sets. And uh, that's what this last one is, too. This last one is from William, and he's helping out in a big way. And he's also told me that he found a few more cards that he's sending. So I know he said in that one he put a couple for Nikki. I don't think... I could be wrong. I don't remember. What is this little guy? That's a first. It's pretty cool. Oh, he did include a note in this one. I think the one he sent uh, this week, he did not. That's awesome. Pen gear. Whatever this is, it fits well for cards. A little protective case. Oh, yes. Look at this. What a guy. Ian, bro, this is what I had on Prism and Select. Prism, that's a good chunk. What is that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I think we're going to have less than 20 for that set now. And a lot of these, what's rookies start at 300? So we got uh, four rookies in there. That's big. Select. Those are club level and a lot of field level. Heck yeah. Let's take a quick look here. He's got them sleeved already. William, you are the man. All right, we got Jared Pinkney, Prism. P. Ryan, Zerline. He might have these actually in order, so I should probably keep them in order. Isaac Bruce, Lane Johnson, Taysom Hill. That guy had a great fantasy weekend. I, I almost forgot to talk about fantasy. All I got to say is thank God I had a buy in my big money league because I got Tom Brady as my quarterback and uh, Mike Evans stacked with him. Those two didn't do much. I have Aaron Jones and... Um, Devante Adams they did okay but you're probably wondering what kind of a league are you in this is like a auction dynasty league we started years and years ago so you keep the players that you get for cheap and I got Aaron Jones cheap I have Derrick Henry on that team that team's so stacked AJ Vanessa club level nice P Ryan select Jefferson club I think someone sent this one actually last week if I remember correctly, because I stuck that in the set. Now we got one for Nikki's PC, though, so that's just fine. Tim Patrick, Claypool, McFarland. But I'm curious. That's a sweet card right there. Um, I'm curious how you guys did in fantasy. I know some teams did really well. Some teams did not do so well. I know uh, Jerry Judy let some people down. Lamar started this week, right? I know Huntley played most of that game, but... Quintus Cephas, that's cool. CD. I, it was just a weird, weird week. And we still got more games to come. I, I got a league where I have Stafford, and then I'm going up against Stafford against Run Good. Uh, Run Good Life. I, I think he might have changed his name to Run Good Cards or something like that. But he's. I think he's going to take it to me in that YouTuber league that we're in that I beat Cheddar Bob last week. So, you know can't win them all I guess I made the playoffs in all four of my leagues so that is huge I mean I barely squeaked in and won but I'll take it but that's gonna do it for today that was fun um we'll have a somewhat holiday themed mon or, uh, wife pack horse for you on Wednesday so stay tuned for that guys give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it wasn't too much time 10 minutes breeze <laughs> we'll see you guys on Wednesday until then be smart be safe and be humble Ian out <laughs>